to church. Who is excited to be in church today? I am very, very excited. David said, I was glad when they said, let us go to the house of the Lord. It's a beautiful day to worship God, right? So welcome. All right. Remember that we're going to go and sing and dance and praise the Lord. But before we do that, can we close our eyes and say a word of prayer? In Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for another beautiful day. We thank you for the gift of life, for the gift of health, for family, for friends. We say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. As we are here in your presence to listen to your word, we ask that you speak to our hearts. Teach us to love you. Teach us to learn something new today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, children, it's time for praise and worship. Yeah. So let's go have some time. Sing, dance, and praise the Lord. Make sure you dance, okay? All right. See you after the praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Children, are you ready to give God praise this morning? Are you ready? If you know the Lord is good, give him a shout of praise. If you know the Lord has given you victory, give him a shout of praise. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. He has given him a victory. Oh, Jesus has given him a victory. He has given him a victory. All the days of my life I praise. Everything that I have now you give to me, Papa. Lord, I say for your love, I'm grateful. Yes, you love me plenty, you came to that for me. Jehovah, oh Jehovah, this I am that I am the great provider. I've searched around, there's no one that's like you. Lion of Judah, you're the mighty man in battle. I am, he is giving the victory. Jesus is giving the victory. Oh, he has given the Receive. 
Praising God, I'm sure you had fun because I sure did have so much fun. Okay, all right. So it's time to listen to the word of God. And today we're going to be talking about a very important topic, peer pressure. Did you hear that? Peer pressure. So what is peer pressure? Who knows what peer pressure is? Who knows what is follow, follow? You see Gillette walking like this, you too, you want to walk like that. Because she had her, made her hair this way, you too, you want to make your hair like that. Because he cut his way like his hair this way, you too, you want to cut your hair like that. You are follow follow. You don't have a mind of your own. You just want to do, ah, this is what is raining now, oh. You too, you want to do. That is follow follow. And that's what we talk about. That's what peer pressure means. Peer pressure is that thing that makes you always want to copy somebody like, okay, this is what is raining now, let me do this. Um, I, I want to belong to the clique, you know, to the big boys in class 
to the clique of the big girls in class. I want to be a happening child. You know, you don't have a mind of your own. You will do anything. You know, you will do anything for people to recognize you, to like you, and to accept you, even when you know that thing is wrong. That is peer pressure. And you know that's not right. Do you know that you are wonderfully and fearfully made? There is no other copy of you in the whole world. What, whoever you are, whatever your name is, you are just too special. You are so special that God did not create two of you. God made you unique. And you know the beautiful thing is that unique thing about you that makes you special and makes you stand out. You don't need to blend in. You don't need to be like everybody. You don't need to do the wrong things to be accepted. No, you just need to be yourself no matter what. And that's why we're talking about peer pressure. Now, do you know that even in the Bible it happened? Let me tell you the story of Aaron. Do you know who Aaron is? Okay, so Aaron is also a brother to Moses and he was with Moses as Moses was leading the Israelites. So this time, Moses went up to the mountain to pray, okay, to have an encounter with God. And Moses left Aaron in charge of the Israelites. So you know, the Israelites can really be stubborn sometimes, you know. They now started disturbing Aaron. Aaron, no, Moses has been gone for a long time. We don't even know whether he's going to come back again. Maybe he has died. We want you to make us a God. Aaron, make us a God. We are tired of waiting for Moses. Make us something to worship so that we say, yes, this is what brought us out of um, Egypt. Wow. Aaron, who was the leader, who was supposed to stand his ground and say, no, because of peer pressure. Because he wanted the people to accept him. Do you know what Aaron did? Aaron now said, okay, okay. Since you people want another God, no problem. Okay, bring out all your jewelries, okay? Your golds, bring them out. I'll use it and mold something for you. Do you think that was a good thing Aaron did? He was supposed to be the leader. He was supposed to stand for the truth no matter what. But he fell into the pressure. He wanted the Israelites to accept him because they were, because they were murmuring and screaming. He, he just said, okay, let me just do what they want. Meanwhile, Moses was having an encounter with God. That was where God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. So Aaron used their, um, their juries to make the golden calf. Did you hear of the golden calf? Yes, that was how it came about. Aaron molded it and said, behold your God. And imagine these people, after everything God did for them, bringing them out of Egypt, okay, crossing them, crossing the Red Sea with them and all that. And they now started bowing down to worship the golden calf. When Moses came down from the mountain. Moses was furious. He was angry, so angry that he broke the Ten Commandments. And I was like, Aaron, Aaron, what have you done? What is this? And do you know, God punished the Israelites with sickness because of that thing that they did. Aaron would have just said, no, I can't do that. He would have just stood for the truth, but no, he was pressured and he followed what the Israelites, you know, asked for, which was wrong. And that's one thing we are learning today, to not give in to peer pressure. You need to be confident to stand alone, especially when you're doing the right thing. Always remember, you are wonderfully and fearfully made. There's no other copy of you. You are a royal priesthood. You are God's own, you are God's own nation. You are a child of God. Know who you are. Believe in yourself. Be confident in yourself. Nobody is better than you. And you are not better than anybody. 
we are all special in our own ways. So you need to, you need to embrace your own uniqueness for you to be special. Remember, if you are a photocopy, you will not be very clear. You need to be an original. So please, don't be a photocopy. Always insist in being you and doing the right thing. It's okay to stand alone, especially when you're doing the right thing. It's okay. Do not do it. Whatever is wrong is wrong, even if everybody is doing it. And what is right is right, even if no one is doing it. Always remember who you are as a child of God and say no to peer pressure. Yes, sometimes it can be difficult to stand alone. Sometimes it can really feel, you can really feel bad uh, when everyone does not want to be your friend. But you always need to know. When you always stand your ground, you'll find out that people will come back to you. Be the, best, be the pace setter, be the leader, be the one who says this is the right thing, let us do it. Don't be that person who wants to lie to be accepted, who wants to cheat to be accepted, who wants to bully other children to be accepted. That is not who you are. You represent Christ, you are unique, you are special, make sure you live that, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not give in to peer pressure. And whenever you feel pressure, talk to someone. Talk to your teacher. Talk to mommy. Talk to dad. Talk to your elder brother. Make sure you talk. You discuss these things. It will help you. When someone is trying to make you do something you know that is wrong, do not keep quiet. Talk to a trusted adult so that you don't end up giving in to pressure. Okay, so... Having learned about peer pressure today, if you know that you want to give your life to Christ, you know when the Holy Spirit is in us, he gives us the strength to say no to sin. He gives us the strength to say no to peer pressure. So just say this word of prayer after me so that the Holy Spirit can come into your life and help you resist pressure or whatever it is. Lord Jesus, Come into my heart. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. I want to be the best of me. Teach me to love me. Teach me to believe in myself. Teach me not to give in to pressure. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Congratulations if you said that prayer with me. Okay, so as we wrap up, let's take our memory verse. Our memory verse is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Do you not know that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. Let's take it one more time. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19. Do you not know that your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are not your own. So as you go about your duties, your studies, and everything this week, remember, your bodies are the temple of God, and you are not your own. All right, so see you some other time. Have a wonderful week. Bye. My body is for you. The whole of me is for you. The center of it all You were there Cause my body Is for you My body Is for you The whole of me Is for you I'm
to you 